and after Stephen Wright put the ball in, it was a 92-minute winner from Daniel Greer, which saw Thames promoted to the higher divisions. Disappointing for Horsham, who we honestly we don't really care about here at Thames Telly. I mean, we're not called Horsham Telly, are we? No, we're not. And obviously now we'll see Thames playing against some better opposition, which I think will be terrific for not just us, but the supporters. And I, I don't want to take all of the credit here at Thames. I mean, we're a team, but I don't think since I joined the organisation, we, we, we've really got up, really. So, um... Yeah, club form three years ago, mate. We've all been here, so... Yes, but I mean, I, I, I for my influence, shouldn't be underestimated, so... Yeah, you know the thing else, mate. We've all been part of this, so shut up. How's that? Shut up. Yeah, yeah, yes, but I, but I mean, I'm Shut one up. of the faces of, of, of Thames now, aren't I? So. Cut, cut to a break. Can we cut to a break, please? Just, just quickly, just quickly cut to a break, please. Thank you. Welcome back. Just enjoy us with some transfer news. Sadly, we don't, we don't have anybody who could report the transfer news. So. I guess I'll just leave it to him in the episode today. If only we had somebody available. Me, Ben Sports Security. News, give me a job at Thames, hashtag, man. Ben Sports News for Thames, like hashtag it. Hello there viewers and welcome back to the Thames FC journey with me, Dr. Ben GFM. For the first time this season, I can call myself a Bostic League Premier Division Manager. Oh yes, I can. And hopefully things now will only be up. No more of this sideway move. Oh, the teams in this division are quite good. Oh dear. Yeah, we are not predicted to do particularly well this year, but we'll look at that in a moment. First things first, let's look at who we've let go and who we've brought in. Some on the release players list... You can see we've let nobody go. That's right, everyone remains. Everybody remains. We have a reserve team now. That's that's the point of this. So here are the men then that we've brought in to help us out. The eight names that will help us this season hopefully become a better side. Big thank you to Stone Market. We'll look at those players in a moment. They're not bad. Corey Heath then comes in as our first name on the list from Aldo and Simtree. And uh, we'll see how we get on with him. Good defender. Bit of potential as well. Solid tackling. Technique for a defender not too bad either. Uh, up there at eight. Uh, good positioning. Good determination. Physicals aren't too bad for this division. At six foot, uh, six foot one as well. I think he could do a job. He's been around a little bit in the Rostic Premier. So I think he comes in with experience in this division. And that's what we need when you go up a level. Next on the list then from Swindon Supermarine. We've got him in on loan. It is Jordan Goddard, a 26 year old uh, again who has been around a little bit started his career at Bristol Rovers is now obviously uh, at Swindon Supermarine nine assists last season a couple of years ago in the in the Boston Premier by the way the division we're in right now 27 assists for the guy Jordan Goddard central midfielder three star current ability three star potential ability great passing good flair vision as well isn't too bad uh, hence he's a playmaker and his physical is not too shabby either left footed can play on the left side of a diamond which is what we're going to go with this year and um, yeah lots of good midfield options this year Jordan Goddard is one of the best of the bunch George Bristol Hall, left back, GBH, GBH, GBH. Little note, I accidentally streamed rather than recorded this video and realised that for the first time, so... GBH. Uh, decent long throws, concentration's not too bad either. Good bravery, acceleration for a fullback, always important. And we'll be vying with a couple of others for that left back spot. Another player and another injury, uh, Gareth Grant, who's been around a little bit as well. I mean, all these players have been around a little bit. This is sort of how the lower leagues operate. Uh, scores goal at every level, though. It's decent, done decent uh, wherever he's been. 11 goals in 40. Probably won't start for us this year, but we needed someone to come in. Be a, be a, be a, a bit of a backup, sorry. Uh, 11 dribbling, 10 finishing. Good composure, good off the ball. Strong leadership as well. Not been out of too many leaders in the side so he can help out with that and uh, his physical is pretty good at uh, 13 acceleration 13 pace, pace i think he can step up even at 29 I think if, if relied upon, this is someone we could rely on. So Gareth Grant, GG, uh, is in the team. We're going to save the two from Stone Market till the end. Uh, speaking of the left backs, we've got another one in. Strained ankle ligaments. All the left backs are injured right now. Uh, McAteer remains and will play, luckily. But you can see another good player. Good crossing, marking and tackling. Very good. Teamwork positioning solid as well. And physicals aren't too shabby either. At five foot nine. Again, a player who's been around a bit, seen it all, and uh, started his career at York City and is now coming towards in the Bostic Premier, despite playing in the higher reaches before this. So I think we've got ourselves a good player. Now, the two from Stowe Market. You can see my little face is excited. With injury to Bradley Comfrey, of course, we need defenders. We already brought in Corey Heath, but here we go. Afolabi Coker is the one we're looking for. This is the man, 24 years of age. I think Coker could be an amazing player. Tackling's decent, passing's decent, marking's decent, heading's decent, and the physicals on the lad are superb. But 24, hopefully we'll have him for a little while as well. Positioning, determination. He's got the right, right attributes in the right areas, and I think he could be an absolute star for us this year. It's coming up 
from a few divisions below. It's just won the Eastern uh, Counties uh, Premier Division. But now we have him. And the, I can't get enough of the physical. Six foot one. Uh, started his career at Leeds. Had a little spell at Norwich as well. We'll probably be familiar to a few of you. Play, uh, played for Lewis as well, who is going to be our game today. He's been around. Again, seen it all. He's had to drop down. And now he's on his way back up, hopefully, with Thames. And then finally, Jack Hallahan from Stowe Market. Oh, look at all the 10s, 8s and 9s. This is the kind of player that we have been looking for for a little while now. And we've finally managed to get him. £130 a week. We're spending a lot of our budget this year. Uh, started his career at Burton. And this again, had to find his way a little bit. Went to Stowe Market. Got promoted with them. And we've nicked two of Stowe Market's best players. Jack Callahan. then. It's a step up for him into Tier 7 of the English tiers. And uh, look at all those all-round statistics. You can see central midfield option. And it's just everything you want. Hopefully someone like Brett Squires can become like this. But at 21 years of age, Jack Hallahan has already got it all. So our team then is going to look similar to this. And you can see we have a very strong middle going on in the centre now. With O'Sullivan, Squires, Hallahan, and Gray playing in front. We've got lots of strength in there now. We've got Goddard as well, who we mentioned a moment ago. is on the bench. Uh, at the back then, Michael Emery keeps his spot in goal. Hopefully this will be... Well, it's, it's tricky. Hopefully it won't be his last season because he plays really well for me. And hopefully improves a little bit. But at his age i'm not sure he will but he keeps the start for now in goal gets lots of clean sheets uh, throughout the season so he stays in there campbell uh coker heath and mcateer will probably be our foreseeable back line for a little while dan mcateer despite his attributes are not looking particularly good only one crossing Actually, last year was one of our better performers. Six assists for him as well. But you will note, we brought in some left-backs. So if you have to switch that round, we can certainly do that. But the pace and decision-making on Daniel McAteer keeps him as a decent player in this division, even now. Uh, although it's just one and a half star, obviously from Joe Bai. Some players play above what you're expecting. And up top, this is where things could get a little bit interesting. Liam Danan is by far our, our best striker. Mm, Danan. Uh, I think when you look at his all-round game, he's certainly very, very good. Dominic Taylor has scored goals for us at every level. But of course, bringing in uh, Grant as one of our new players, Gareth Grant. We've also got Liam Kinnear, who is from our youth academy could be given the opportunity this year to shine he's got some potential he's one star one and a half star very good flair 14 finishing 13 acceleration on that left side as a poacher we may see a little bit of Liam Kinnear at some point this year so look out for that it could well be the case that he plays a lot uh, in, a, in a front two with either Taylor or Danan of course we still have Frankie Sawyer but as mentioned no one was released uh, we've got a lot of players now in our reserves that are finding their feet and Frankie Sawyer is just one of those player, uh, players along with uh, Joe Bayer and a few others that you may recognise Coleman Carr is still there. Uh, Daniel Gray from the very beginning. Taverner is there too. So if we need to rely on some of these boys, we can bring them through. Players like John Clark, who needs to go down a little bit to prove himself to come back up. And uh, hopefully that's what we'll see. So where are we predicted to finish? You might be wondering. Need promotion, Ben. Where, where are the team predicted? Well, hmm, hmm. Before we signed a few players, it was pretty bad. But now, 21st. Which, for an Indian side, isn't awful. I mean, it's not the worst, is it? Uh, Borgna Regis got relegated to this division and are now predicted to go down again. So that's not particularly good. Harrow, Canvey Island, Lowestoft and Lewis, who are playing today, are the uh, the favourites for the division. East Thurrock have come down as well. They're, they're a, a highly rated favourite. But I'm hopeful that with the, team, that with the team we've got, we can push on and certainly go for sort of that mid-table aspiration. That's the dream. That's the dream. Whether that's the reality or not, that is a good question. You can see it gives you sort of your two best players here. Uh, Coker and Hallahan, both coming from Stowe Market. These are, the, these are the boys we've got to rely upon to get the best out of this season. I still think we're a striker short, probably. Maybe a centre-back. Maybe we have to do a strength in, in goal as well. We'll have to wait and see on that one. But you can see from the, the, the ability of our team now, uh, Danan, Coker, Hallahan, it's caught, sort of realigned everything. Before, George O'Sullivan looked like a very good player. Daniel Gray looked like a very good player. But when you bring in a little bit more quality in these higher divisions, you start to realise that everyone else maybe not as good as you first thought. So, as we go forward, hopefully you'll enjoy the season. And let's get into our first game. Lewis, the opposition. This is going to be interesting. And by interesting, I mean they might absolutely stamp all over us. Okay, team selection-wise, as thought about, this is what we're going to go with. I'm actually going to bring in Liam Kinnear for Jermaine Johnson uh, on the bench. He's still with us, of course, as well. Uh, a good backup centre-back, two-star current ability, but will do a job. He's been with us a long time now. The biggest bit of news uh, for, for Cameron Campbell is that Cameron Campbell, because of the Comfrey injury, will almost certainly become our highest appearance maker. So far, uh, Bradley Comfrey's got it, but there you are. Cameron Campbell comes in and... Uh, uh, will feature throughout this season and will most certainly become our highest appearance player. So congratulations to him. Right then, let's get into this game. Submit the team. First game of the season. I think it's a very strong Lewis side. Do you remember first year, uh, we played against them a few times and they beat us every single time. So this should be interesting. Up top, they've got a player like Reese Connolly, who doesn't look all that, actually. Actually, these guys aren't amazing. 
looking through a few of these lads, there's not, I mean, they're not bad, but they're not amazing. They're not as good as I thought they were going to be. I'll put it that way. Right then, boys. I'm going to go for a passionate team talk. We've got nothing to lose today. Get out there. Surprise them. Cause a bit of an upset. And we'll see how we get on. Okay, we, of course, are in our blue and white strip. And uh, we'll see how we go. Financially, we gained a little bit of money. We had some friendlies against sort of under-23 sides of championship teams. Uh, as well as I think we had a game against South End, as they had very close early on. So we got a little bit of money in the bank. Not enough to... Get us out of a hundred dollars or two hundred and forty thousand pounds worth of debt, but it, 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 it we're still we're still screwed. I don't know why I'm saying it like this. Okay, twenty minutes gone. New season. How are we going to start things off? Of course, because this is a new division, I'll try and show you a few more games than we did last season, uh, but keep the series flowing through as we go. As the ball's played up towards Taylor, who I don't necessarily think is good enough for this division. But we're going to find out by the time we get to sort of 10 games in and we see how many goals he's got. Uh, that is to say the area we might need to strengthen. And because of the nature of being a semi-professional club, we can go out and get a new striker at any point. And if they're not on a weekly wage, we can release strikers that don't quite fit the bill. As uh, Heath heads forward to McAteer, we know he's got a wonder a left foot for someone who's supposed to be not particularly good. Plays it into Taylor, finds Gray. And uh, Gray does well enough to get past his man. If he can find a ball into Taylor, he does. Taylor's got Danan racing forward. Danan with a shot on goal just wide. Well, 35 minutes gone, of course. Lewis top, like tips to do pretty well this year. But so far, we're on level terms. And that's not too bad at all. Gray back to Hallahan, who's on a booking, actually. And this ball forward, not particularly good. But if he can put a bit of pressure on, maybe. Force a mistake, perhaps. No, it goes forward to Connolly, who's hold up play... He's decent with Green and now George is racing forward on that left-hand side. There's a man in the middle, free perhaps. Not particularly free, but Emre makes the save anyway. And uh, I think we put enough pressure on to make it difficult. Come on, boys. I'm, I want to start well. I think getting off to a good start is it's imperative. If we, if we start with a defeat, then I'm starting to worry that the rest of our season might follow suit. It's the front two that I'm worried about. I've looked all summer for a real good striker and I... I couldn't really find one. That's been the issue so far. I'm happy with the so far. Keep it up. They look delighted. And uh, we go back out there for the second half. Our bench is a lot stronger now. The likes of Goddard mean that if we have to change things in the centre of the pitch, we can do without too much worry. The fact that Hallahan now is on a yellow card. He's on a 6.5 as well. Not playing particularly good. Same with Brett Squires. He's got not really much issue with making a switch in there if we're to go behind or even take the lead. At this point, oh God, McAteer, Emre. It's welcome back to... the. the not like that. This is why we've bought three left backs, boys. This is why. It's not good, is it? I mean, McAteer with the throw in. Is it not? It is him. I thought, yeah. I mean, it. Oh. I just, the words fail me. All right, speaking of these tactical switches, Liam Danan's having a shocker as well. We've not got too many strikers on the bench. You might go and change things around a touch then. We'll go back to what a similar thing that we've played recently. Uh, OT's going to come on. We're going to take Danan off, put him out on that side, put uh, OT out on that side, play him as the winger on support, and then maybe Hallahan to come off for Stefan Wright. We're sort of going back to what we played last year a little bit um, with a few changes here and there. Squires is going to come off for Mazzala and play as a support central midfielder instead. A little switch around. We've not played particularly badly, and it was an individual error, so now me saying that out loud makes me think that this might be a mistake, but there's, there's maybe a highlight here. I don't know if this is just because we've made a change. goes towards Taylor, who's in the area. Taylor? Oh, is he is he penalty? Inch perfect tackle, corner. Oh, I thought we were getting a penalty there, back in it. Okay, we're back with it, about the hour mark now, and uh, Lewis, of course, one of the top of the team's uh, tips to go up this year, and oh, that is a big chance, should have scored it, but we can't. We can't be too disheartened if we don't take anything from it, but you at least want to be competitive. I think if this ends like 4-0, then I'll feel a lot worse. Taylor nabs in, though. Well, it could be 1-1. Taylor, chance on goal. Robertson with a good save, and Taylor didn't really have the composure to find the finish. O'Sullivan's corner. It's to be played in. Finds Gray on the edge of the area. The left foot of Gray, maybe with a shot. It gets tackled. Just about recovers. Into Heath now. And it's cleared forward, and uh, that's the end of that highlight. Now, we're playing a relatively standard system i'm thinking we go a little bit more attacking for the final 15 we're at home i'll be interested to know actually how many people are turning up for these games 156 which is not that many 47 away fans though i guess that'll be good for the gate receipts five minutes to go and um liam kinnear i'm gonna bring liam kinnear on he's only I think he's 16 we're gonna bring him on as a poacher late doors we'll see if he can if he can do anything Time is ticking away, though, and it doesn't look as if that late change is going to make any difference at all. Although, looking at those stats, more possession, more shots, just not as many goals. And uh, unless we find a goal right now, which is looking unlikely, a 1-0 defeat to Lewis. 
uh, is going to be our opening fixture or opening result of the season. And there we are then. A defeat to a side that are likely to get into the playoffs at least this year. And I think we can beat, like, despite the... No, no, that's a good thing to say. It was one mistake. It was one mistake and they've, they've blown the top. Oh, why? Relax, it's not that bad. Every little thing is going to be all right. Boys, please. Don't worry that we didn't win. Because every little win is going to be in sight. Da, da, da. Don't worry that we didn't win. Da, 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 da. I'm leaving gaps where the music would be, so just so we're clear. We're into 19th, though. which is Have we gone up in the table there? I think we might have done. Just do, just do lettering. <laughs> Alphabetical order is the word you're looking for, Ben. Oh yeah, I did actually release some players that are rubbish, but I did that before the game. So like that. We're not going to miss James O'Connor. So then that is going to bring us to the end of the episode. Next time we meet then, I think we should maybe play... Ooh, oh, it's quite a while away though. I was going to say we should go for Red Hill. I think we should play that game, but I think the next episode we'll play sort of Sudbury and Hendon. So I'll, I'll get sort of six or five, five or six games in, uh, and then Hendon and Sudbury, and then after that, Red Hill, who obviously we're very familiar with, and we can test ourselves against a side that we know all about. So that should be interesting. Uh, that is going to the end. then you can see there our pre-season went not fantastic but we had some good uh, results and some good attendances uh, more to the point I, I, i'll quickly i'll very 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 quickly show you that income wise you can see there uh, on gate receipts 16,000 already this season just from having friendlies against those big teams something i should probably keep an eye of uh, in the future but that's going to bring us to the end then if you want to see more do subscribe to the channel and if you enjoyed the video do leave a like this hand went out here and it came under here it's like magic goodbye everyone goodbye oh dear a defeat already there we are then that brings us to the end of today's episode if you enjoyed it do drop a like if you want to see some more subscribe to the channel and i'll see you for more throughout this week we love with care for another spinji until next time goodbye